Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about can you get hired with just HTML? Can I get hired with just HTML? Yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, my name is Joe Santos Garcia, aka I do this, aka codingface.com. All right, go visit a website. It's an amazing website. We teach you everything that you need to know to become a developer and to get hired ASAP. Okay, that's the goal. Not to waste time, not to give you the history of JavaScript or who was the creator of Python. Nobody cares about that. You don't care about that. What you care about is making your bread and getting hired. Okay, and that's what I'm here for. Okay, so let's get started. So I just received this email 41 minutes ago. Well, now 45. Okay, uh, pretty much asking, hey man, we're looking for a developer, HTML. They're not looking for somebody to come in and do JavaScript. They're not looking for somebody that comes in and, and does, you know, back end work that does a whole bunch of things. Right. And how long does it take you to learn, you know, HTML? HTML takes you a week. Right. HTML and CSS might take you just a week, a week and a half, maybe two. OK, so with a week to two weeks of experience and learning how to do this, right? you can go ahead and start applying to this type of jobs, man. Is it something that's going to be crazy difficult? No, they're going to give you a design. They're going to give you the sizes and your job is to resize it. Okay. Mobile design, right? Responsive design. That's exactly what I teach you guys on my website, codingface.com. That's why we focus on the HTML CSS into two to three projects just on HTML CSS. So you could pretty much convert any design that they give you. You can learn it and say, you know what? Now let me just build this whole thing. Okay. So that's what we do. Now, some people might be super skeptical, like always, man, there's no way nobody could get hired with just HTML CSS. This is not possible, bro. It's there. It's literally there, right? This is a real job, right? And I'm going to give you a little secret, okay? The reason that Creative Circle gets to pick up all of these companies is because usually they go to Indeed.com and nobody ever applies to them. This is a real fact, right? There's a big facts, right? Big facts right there. So, <laughs> sorry, I just got hyped. So, big facts, right? So, pretty much, like, people go to Indeed.com, jobs don't get, you know, pulled up right nobody applies to them a lot of people think it's fake or this is whatever right so then the company says you know what we got to go to a recruiter so then now they go to a, this company creative circle and then creative circle charges them a premium right so instead of paying maybe thirty dollars an hour now because they got to go to creative circle they got to pay 45 an hour for somebody to just do this okay it's not hard it's not difficult it's super easy personally I love creative circle because it gives you the opportunity to work on this type of jobs like sometimes they give you a contract work for six months and you make more money in that six months than somebody working full-time you know a nine to five for a whole year so you could just go in there work your hours do what you got to do do the projects and that's it and you don't even have to work for the rest of the year if you don't want to right sometimes you might get a good contract like that but for something like this, HTML, of course, you're not going to get something, you know, astronomical numbers or like, damn, he got paid a hundred thousand dollars for one week. Now nah. you're going to get paid something good, something that's going to hold you down for the next two months, just off this three weeks. OK, I'm being honest with you guys. So then from there, we have Indeed.com. This is where you're going to come in and remove the location. If you if you don't care where where it's located, right, just to give you guys. Uh, a little preview because you can search this people always come here and the first thing they start with is let me search for front end developer okay front end developer right they think that this is the only jobs that's out there bro like that's a title that's a title on a job a title inside of a company right what you have is a skill the moment you know html css that's a skill that you unlocked so now it's just like a carpenter right a carpenter don't need to go in and be like uh, i don't know a guy that you know searches for guy that that knows how to build chairs right like let's say i don't know 
I don't know too much about carpenters, but right, they're not gonna be searching for that. They might just come here instead of that. They just come in and search carpenter. That's it. That's all they're gonna search for. They're not gonna come here and be like, well, I want to be only a guy that builds chairs. Right. And that's how you look like when you're only searching for front end developer, back end developer, front end engineer, software engineer. When you're looking just for that, bro, that's what you're going to bump into. Right. You have a skill. It doesn't matter what the job title is. You come here like a regular human being. You search HTML and you press enter. OK, from there, you're going to find a whole bunch of jobs that you don't even know that existed that you could apply to. Okay. Now remember why you should do this because you're still learning. Yes. The goal is to become a front end developer, back end developer, software engineer, right? That's your goal. That's your dream. That's what you want to become. But that doesn't mean you need to be at home broke. That doesn't mean that you need to be at home, not getting paid. Okay. Somebody sent me a message on a live stream that I did earlier on today. He's like, yo man, I just quit my job. You know, I've been doing this for two weeks. Uh, what can I do to get higher as soon as possible, bro? I'm showing you right now. I did this video for you. Okay. This is what you got to do. You come here and search HTML, look in your area. If you live in, let's say New York, you search New York and see what's out there and click on find jobs. Okay. If you don't care about the location and you can re relocate and, and, and you don't mind, then you, you remove the the whole area. But the reason why I remove it is to show you guys all the different states. You got Florida, you got New York stores. Okay. Uh, Bethlehem, uh, PA, like, you know, people be, we wondering like, man, digital content specialist. This sounds like I gotta be a specialist, bro. Read through this whole thing, man. Read through this whole thing. It's not that difficult. Website customer support specialist, bro. Come in, look through this, bro. Look through this, see all the things that you, that you might need, right? It's not that difficult at all. Okay. This right here is the moment I see liquid, I already know what this is. This is about Shopify, right? So they probably have like a couple of things that you might have to check and this and that, but this is like customer support, right? I know customer support is not something that everybody wants to do, but if you're at home broke and you're like, man, I got the skill and let me see what's out there. See what's out there, bro guest services, right? I'm just showing you different things. Web production specialist, bro. <laughs> like they put like random names for, for different things that have nothing to do with this, right? Like this is like literally HTML emails and, and, and literally like, Oh, uh, changing some things on a page. Like this is like for what a hospital children's national medical center. Okay. You get hired at this company. Well, this hospital, right? What you're going to be doing in there is, changing certain things around, right? Uh, things like you, you know, like, uh, what days they're going to be open. Um, you know, putting in the emails, you're not writing the emails. I want to put this out there. People get scared about emails. They think like you're writing emails. Like I'm not a writer. I'm not, this isn't that. I know you're not a writer. You're not getting paid to be a writer. If they want you to be a writer, they got to pay you way more money than that. You get what I'm saying? Like you're not going to be the writer. Your job is going to be the guy that puts this up online. They give you a page, you put it up, they give you a email that you got to send out. You post it on, on the thing. It's already set up. They usually have a template. You press paste. You make sure the spelling is good. The, you get a preview to your email and then fucking you send it. That's it. Like literally that's it. It's not that hard, bro. I know some of you guys are wondering like, man, you know, you see this bachelor's degree, bro. Most people that have a bachelor's degree, they don't even, they're not even applying to this, bro. They're not even applying to this job because they're trying to go to their, you know, their dream jobs. And that's where you come in. You take that job from them because, Hey, you want to go to that dream job? I'm here about my bread. Let me get that job. You come in snatch. You know what I mean? Take that bro. <laughs> Straight up. Like, look, I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys. Look, there's so many different jobs that you can apply to, man. Like how you think I got my first job, bro? Yeah. My first job, it wasn't that great. Right. I took a job for $13 an hour, bro. But I was out of there in two months. What did that do for me? It gave me actually a, an experience of like, Hey man, in my resume, it says, Hey, I'm a, you know, 
uh, web specialist or uh, what was it? I forgot the name of it. A product specialist doing HTML, CSS. So then when I applied to a front end position, I got hired because I already had the experience. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't even know that some of these jobs, like, yeah, you wanted to do, uh, I don't know, become a web developer or engineer, or whatever. And sometimes you bump into companies that you didn't even know that you loved, right? Like, let's say for this company, Buzzsprout, I don't even know what company is this, right? You might go in and you try to apply to this company, content creator, right? Uh, let me see. You write blog posts, how to guys like this one is, is more of creating things, you know, but there might be a company out there that you apply to that. I don't know. It could be like a sports company. It could be a entertainment company. It could be a real estate company that you didn't even know was out there hiring and you apply to it. And next thing you know, you're doing real estate. Next thing you know, you're, you're doing commercials. Next thing you know, you might be doing something else. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes we get stuck in this world of like, I just want to be a developer and this, this and that. I just bro. Like once you have a skill, I look at this as a skill, bro. You know what I mean? Like this is how I look at it. Okay. This is just a skill. I don't care about the title. I care about how much I'm going to get paid. Okay. If I'm going to be doing the same thing, doesn't matter if I'm going to be doing websites all day or I'm going to do uh, 20% of my day doing websites. And then the other uh, 80% is going to be me just copy and pasting stuff that people are sending me to upload to the website. I don't care. I'm getting paid. You get what I'm saying? So when you starting, what you want to do is you want to build up your experience that somebody says, instead of you saying like, Hey man, I, I used to be an Uber driver, right? You know, when somebody sends a resume and their thing says Uber driver or a uh, truck driver or, you know, freaking waitress or, or whatever it is, right? Now you're coming in with a different uh, a stamp on your resume that says, you know, uh, what marketing specialist. You get what I'm saying? Like it looks good. It look actually looks better because now you can tell that person has been working in a you know a professional environment. Okay, so you know don't waste no time, man. You can get jobs out here with just HTML, bro. With just HTML, the jobs that you think like, man, this is so difficult. I, I would never be able to get a job. I got I gotta get a degree. I gotta do this and that, bro. I'm telling you ahead of time, man. The opportunities are there right in front of you. Okay. You just have to apply, put on, uh, you know, put on a nice uh, suit on, put on some nice clothes. Just go to the interviews. Just go in, bro. There's nothing wrong with going into the interviews, showing them, Hey man, I can do what you guys want me to. Oh, we've never used WordPress. Like let's say you never use WordPress and they use WordPress. You be like, Hey man, I've played around with it and I can, you know, if you guys want me to do more of WordPress, I can learn that in a week or two, right? As you guys can see, this is my, my portfolio. This is what I can do with you guys, right? I know HTML, CSS, I can build your websites, give me a design. I can build it for you. You want something with emails. I can build that for you too, right? Sell yourself, right? Sell yourself, put yourself out there, you know, and take advantage of what you already have. Don't go in thinking about, man, I need to become an engineer and this isn't bro. You know, if you become an uh, engineer at a company and they're paying you $60,000, it's the same thing that they're going to do at a company that they're calling you a web specialist for $60,000. It's the same shit. Like it or not. All right. So stop wasting time. Apply out there. And, and like I said, guys, if you want to learn how to code, check out codingphase.com. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm not here to uh, sell you a dream. I'm here to just give you the skills that is going to get you hired and to make money online as soon as possible. That's it. The things that work for me can work for you. I'm nothing special. I'm not this amazing genius that I went to uh, Ivy League school. Nah, bro. I just know what I need to know. That's it. And I can teach you everything that I know. All right. So check it out. CodingPhase.com. Look at the description. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe. Peace.